All right. Let's start right there. Every time you call me boss, it shows such contempt for me, I want to cry. What's happened to the friendship? You threw it away. Felicia? I don't think so. Year after year, through crisis after crisis, we've become as close as sisters. At least that's the way I felt. I've relied on you more than any other friend I've ever had. And these last few months, it's, it's as though all that history between us doesn't count for anything with you anymore. That's because you didn't get what you wanted. Like a Felicia Gallant novel. So then Corey could make millions on it. What are you talking about? Felicia, let Rachel say what she needs to. Shove it. Those are the rules. I'm making up my own rules. Not thing. now. Not this time. This is my turn. You've hurt me and you've hurt me badly. You want to talk about the book? Okay, we'll talk about the book. You left Corey Publishing and I find out from a total stranger. How do you think that made me feel? Have you any idea? <laughs> Rachel, this is very funny. I mean, now we're talking about how you felt. What about how I felt? You really think that I was just going to lie down with the treatment you were handing out? I was trying to help you. You had just lost Lucas. You weren't in any I shape. I was a wreck. And everybody knew it. What I needed was support. <sighs> Somebody to help me get back up on my feet. But what, you know what I got? I got the rug pulled out from under me. I wish that were true. I wish there was one stupid mistake somebody had made. No, I had made. That we could all point to, and that would be it. We could wipe the slate clean. But you know, that's not the way it happened. Uh-uh. In fact, I bet you money. We're going to find out how it happened, aren't we? I don't even know how it happened. I just know how I feel. My trust has been betrayed, and so's the friendship. And I keep wondering if it really is my fault. I've racked my brains to try and come up with it. What I did to make you turn away from me. I could only come up with one thing. I don't know who I'm dealing with anymore. You're not my friend anymore. My friend wouldn't have jeopardized her job. My friend wouldn't have jeopardized my company or the station. My friend wouldn't have submitted an inferior book just to make a deadline. And my friend wouldn't have broken a contract with an old friend just for a few moments of publicity. That's not my friend. That's someone under the influence of the bottle. And I want the bottle gone. That's why I'm here. Good, don't you think? I mean, I think that speech should go down in the intervention hall. Oh, sweet, come on, love, Did you hear anything? Of course I heard everything, every bloody word of it. But what my dear betrayed friend Rachel has forgotten is which worm turned first. And I'm here to remind you, sweetie, it was you. I mean, we all know that you've always been jealous of me. And even more jealous after I found Luke. After Mac died. And then when the same thing happened to me, you wanted me to pay for that. I mean, she's lost her man, so... Hey, let's take everything else away from her. You know it's true, Rachel. You brought in that barracuda, Stone Wallace. You didn't even have the guts, the guts, to do it yourself. You had to bring on outside guns. It's really very much like today with him. So don't give me that bull about friendship. You haven't been my friend for years. What about me? Am I your friend anymore?
Gus, don't be part of this. Honey, I'm part of your life. Or I used to be. You, you, you always can be. But not like this. Not on the attack. I won't allow this, Cass. Do you hear yourself? You're telling me that if I don't do things your way, we're finished. That's not how we ever operated, honey, ever. I didn't mean it like that. I, I, I just want you to give me a chance. I gave you every chance in the book. Maybe that's where I made my mistake. Friendship goes both ways. I have always been there for you. Always. No. Not when I asked you to. That's what hurt me the most. I begged you to be honest with me, to let me in when you were hurting so badly after Lucas died. But did you? I felt like I didn't exist. You turned your back on me. That is not me. true, and you know that. Yes, it is true. Instead of letting go, instead of letting yourself feel the anger and the hurt, you did a television show on Lucas's killer. Because it was good for me. I, I did it because I was dealing with no, something. No, not dealing. You, no, no, you shut down. And God help me, I, I bought it. But then... Then there was the fire. That happened. And... I thought you were going to die in my arms. I made a mistake. I'm, uh, I, I admitted I made a mistake, but I got better after that. I, you know I got better after that. All I that. know is you lied to me and you lied to yourself. When I went to visit you the next day in the hospital, you were having a party. Because <laughs> I was... I, I was saying thank you to the people that had helped Honey, me. please, please, please. Stop denying this. Stop it! You were drunk. You almost died. Nobody throws a party the next day to celebrate that. Well, you know what I do? So get over it. I tried to get over it. <laughs> I tried. I even believed you when you said you stopped drinking. I stopped drinking. I said I stopped over drinking. There's a difference. I can't have a drink. I don't care what this so-called expert tells you. One drink is too much, and a hundred drinks... It's not enough, right? What is this, a step, 12-step program we're doing right now? Is maybe, that what we're doing? Maybe you should think about that, too. Uh, Cass, I'm sorry. Remember the instructions. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, remember, you're here to decimate your best friend. Shut up! Have you forgotten that I practically carried you home from Vicky and Grant's wedding? Because you were so drunk you couldn't even walk? And this, the scene you made there was bad enough. But then, the next day, you acted as though nothing at all had happened again. Well, I'm sorry. I really am sorry that I'm such an embarrassment to you. Honey, honey. You could never be that to me. Not ever. You are so many wonderful things to me that I love so much. You're smart, you're funny, you're talented, you're charming, and you're now beautiful. I'm drunk. But that woman... That friend, the friend that I love as much as I love my own life. She's gone away. She did die in that fire. And the shell that's left that... She... She lies. She evades. She turns her back on those who love her. Rachel may feel betrayed, but... I feel as if I just lost my best friend. Because I have. You're dead to me now. 